Hi everyone! You want to lose weight without eating carbs? You're at the right place. If you're considering adopting a low-carb diet, here is how you will have the best results. Step 1. Planning Flexible planning is essential for success on any diet. I recommend that you put together a weekly meal plan, prepare all your meals in advance, and keep them in the fridge or freezer so they are easy to grab when you're hungry. You should also plan ahead by packing healthy snacks and low-carb meal options for work or school lunches. It's important to be realistic with your goals and expectations when it comes to weight loss. Losing weight too fast is hard on your body and increases your risk of side effects such as muscle loss, dehydration, dizziness, fatigue and fainting. Your meal plan should include Lunch Make a salad with chicken or fish and some vegetables. A portion of the lettuce leaves will provide enough fiber for the day. Include other low-carb vegetables like green beans or broccoli if you like them better. You do not need to buy dressing from the store. Make your own by mixing olive oil with vinegar or lemon juice. Make sure you pack snacks for between meals. These can be made with low-carb vegetables and nuts, or they can include proteins such as tuna and cottage cheese. Dinner. Choose a variety of low-carb vegetables, such as cauliflower, broccoli, spinach, or celery. Grains are your best option for this meal because they provide many vitamins and minerals that you need to support energy production. You can also have a serving of protein at dinner, such as hard-boiled eggs or grilled chicken. A portion of the pasta you eat at dinner will provide enough fiber for the day. Step 2. Tracking progress. It is important to monitor your progress honestly to stay on track and avoid being discouraged if it doesn't go as fast as you had hoped. The easiest way to track your progress is by weighing yourself every day and recording it on a low-carb diet plan spreadsheet. You will also need to record your daily protein intake, which should be at around 1 gram per pound of your ideal body weight. For example, if you weigh 180 pounds, you should take in 120 grams of protein per day. Water is included as a free source of protein. If you like meat and don't want to eat less meat, you may want to eat more than the recommended amount of protein for any given day. Drink at least 8 ounces water for every 100 grams of protein that you eat. You should also track your water intake. Drinking at least 8 ounces of water for every 100 grams of protein you eat will help to prevent dehydration. Other helpful data to track how frequently you exercise. Whether or not you experience any digestive issues or side effects such as headaches, fatigue, constipation, or nausea. How much weight you lose every week and what your body fat percentage is at the beginning and end of your diet. What foods you eat and whether they are triggering any side effects or digestive problems. If so, identify a replacement food that works better for you. For example, if a certain type of protein triggers bloating and stomach upset, try eating another type instead. For example, chicken instead of beef. You can also track your calories in and out for each of the days of the week. Your goal should be to record all this information at least once a week. When you begin recording, be as accurate as possible and take your time to write down anything that may help you identify changes in your body or nutrition plan for the next week. Step 3. Take advantage of your hunger. If you eat small meals throughout the day, your body will benefit from more efficient digestion and use of food. Switching to a low-carb diet plan is best when done at the start of the day. This gives your body the opportunity to burn calories more efficiently, boost the energy level, and keep you going all day long. The last meal of the day should be eaten before 6 p.m. and should not include anything complex that takes a long time to digest, such as grains or dairy. What does work well for dinner? Well, meat is a great option for dinner because it provides a solid dose of protein. Also, you can include vegetables that are good sources of fiber but have few carbs like cauliflower or spinach. You can make a nice steak salad with these low-carb vegetables and avoid bread or starchy carbs to stay on track with your weight loss goals. 
The time when you are hungriest is usually in the morning after waking up. Make sure you have your breakfast ready and eat as soon as possible to keep your energy up all day long. If your protein intake is not high enough, try eating more foods that are high in fat such as cheese, eggs, or avocado, and avoid things like boneless, skinless chicken breast because they do not provide much protein. A protein-rich meal can boost your metabolism and make you feel full for the next several hours. Step 4. Avoid sugar. Cutting out sugar from your diet is the single most important step to successful weight loss. While this may sound difficult, it is actually quite easy because refined sugar is in practically all processed foods. This makes it easy to stick to low-carb foods that have no sugar or low amounts of natural sugars. One of the best ways to avoid sugar is to start reading food labels and avoid anything with added sugars or listed as a source of sugar. Here are a few examples of foods that contain sugar and are not good to eat on a low-carb diet. Low-carb snacks. Candy bars such as Milky Way or Oreo, jelly beans and other candies. Soda drinks such as Coke or Pepsi. Granola bars, including cereal bars. Candy from vending machines or stores that sell candy and sugary treats, such as king-size Snickers. Low-carb desserts, cakes and other baked goods used for desserts at restaurants, such as carrot cake, chocolate chips used in cookies and brownies, breadsticks with breadsticks, caramel corn cereals in frosted containers, soft drinks used in milkshake shakes, smoothies with lots of ice cream top, ice cream, frozen yogurt and fat-filled dips, ice cream and other frozen treats, Soy milk used in soy milk lattes or soy milk shakes, bread made with wheat flour or other grain products. Non-fat yogurts full of sugar, some of them listed as fruit yogurts. Low-carb snack bars, such as Kind Bars and Kind Nuts, check the label. Kind crackers, such as low-carb tortilla chips, low-carb pretzels or raw veggies to dip in a cup full of salsa or some hot sauce pepperoni sticks, check the label for sugar content. Low-carb cheese sticks, such as shredded mozzarella cheese, low-carb meat sticks with tomato paste and... Okay! If you follow this plan, you will start losing weight in a few days. This diet is difficult for some people, but certainly worth a try if you're serious about losing weight in a healthy way. Don't hesitate to tell us your results in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want more videos on how to boost your metabolism, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.